Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the AWS. In this session, I will show you how to create a free account for practice purpose and configure with the complete detail. So once we'll have our AWS account, we'll work with different structures like database management or hosting of any application or hosting of any website. So as you can see here, I am on the aws.amazon.com. Here you can see create an AWS account and these accounts are basically free for one year. So as you can see here, Amazon EC2 is free for 750 hours. 750 hours is basically when we are creating any instance and that instance is running not more than 750 hours, then that will be perfectly fine for the free account. So just like if you are working with the three instances and all three instances are including together consumes or running capacity of consumes seven less than 750 hours then that will be considered in free but if one of the instance is going out of that range then amazon definitely going to charge for that so these features are free just like as you see here amazon ec2 is also free and a uh, storage database uh, then that is amazon rds amazon s3 is also free up to 5 gb if it extends your data space then definitely they will charge for that then the amazon dynamo db amazon sage maker these all facilities are available for the free of cost for one year so as you can see here security is def definitely having 30 days of security rest other they are going to charge for the security purpose so let's create an account and we'll learn how we can manage other stuff as well for creating a free account just go to here and click on create free account once you will click on this sign up page will be appear so just enter your email id then password whatever is required as per requirement you can do that so So whatever account name you want, you can just mention it here. I'm mentioning here as a Deepak test. test. Or Deepak Kura. So once I will click that. I will navigate it to my uh, the account page J because i am using for the personal purpose it will ask for me with the contact number for verification purpose so whenever you are entering any of the details make sure your contact number should be correct and reason is india address whatever address you want to mention it here Maharashtra. So after entering all this detail, you just have to check on this box for Amazon terms and condition and click on create account.
now you can see all the warnings are resolved just click on this now for verification purpose and if you are using the services which is provided more than that then that time amazon will be charged for you for charging purpose they will ask your credit card number or any account detail but if you are exceeding your limit then only amazon will charge and that will be notified to you uh, by a mail or phone number or message but without exceeding that amazon does not charge you anything for that because this is free for that and for the living account also they will ask your consent to want to renew or not for this you need to provide your account detail for this i'm i'm entering here the data so for that i am now we can see that after entering the payment detail i will be redirected to this page so here we have to enter your mobile number so after entering your mobile number you will get a message for otp content so let me enter here and then send an sms so basically it will verify your contact detail and send it to your otp data so after entering your otp content now your number is verified click on continue and you are able to see select a support plan so support plan will have several features like if you want to opt it for developer plan so he on developer plan you will charge for that 29 dollar per month or business plan then it will charge for you 100 dollar per month but when you opt for free plan it is having features like included with all account 24 by 7 self service access to aws resources for account and billing issue only access to personal health and dashboard or trusted advisor but when you are signing for the developer plan it will gives you more feature as of that so as you can see here con tag your account manager for additional information or running business and mission critical workload on aws starting from 15k dollar per month so we are clicking on just free plan so you can select here system administrator for you and you can select any of the option whatever you are feel okay for you now once you click on submit your account will be created and you will have your own content so sign into the content once your account will be created you can see several free options are available for you linux virtual machine deploy docker containers and run a serverless hello world just like these features are available for you so this is all about how you can create an um, amazon web services and uh, let me log in for here so once you will click on the login page it will redirect to uh, login page and over there from there 
you are able to see your account will be created here so this is all about how to create a free account in amazon web services and use it for our personal or learning purpose hope you understand it if you have any queries or comment please comment in the comment section so that i will check and review with the resolution and most important part don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you